Hi everyone! I'm so sorry this video took so long. So this is video 3 of 10 of my December trip to South Korea and Japan. And today, I'll be sharing my dining experience at Onji Om. So it was pictures of Onji Om space that first caught my attention. And when I was making my reservation, what I found really interesting is that they only opened for 4 days. And I got to say, it's pretty unusual seeing a restaurant not operating on weekends. Which, the staff explained is because Onji Om is an institute focusing on continuing a legacy. And indeed, I did some research thereafter, and Onji Om is a restaurant and a culture research institute. I came across this video that's beautifully put together by Taste of Soul, so here's me sharing an extract of the video. Onji Om is completely 짓는다 그런 뜻을 가져서 우리 전통의 의식주의 문화를 연구하고 전통의 한식이 점점 사라져가고 젊은 사람들이 우리 옛날 음식을 알지 못하는 지금의 시대에서 정말 우리의 아름답고 맛있고 멋있는 옛 음식을 끄집어내서 지금 현대에 맞는 식재료와 또는 조리법으로 우리의 전통 음식을 제대로 보여주고 싶은 것 그게 온지음이 가장 추구하는 큰 목표 중에 하나라고 보고 있습니다. 모던한 것은 한 번에 보면 아름답다 느낄 수 있고 전통은 꾸준히 봐야 아름답다고 느낄 수 있는 것 같아요. 그래서 온지음은 그 깊은 음식을 많은 곳에 알리고 젊은 친구들이 이 음식을 먹고 진정한 한식을 할수 있게끔 노력을 할 것입니다. So one can say Onjiom is like a bridge linking the past to the future. So this is our first welcoming a Mary's Bush called Chujamburi. There's a chojate, which is the spicy mustard sauce with the cold salad.
It's an interesting meal in the sense of while the dishes at Onji Om are not unfamiliar to me, some of the tastes were. And I can only conclude it's because Onji Om restaurant being part of the Culture Research Institute, its main driver is to revive traditional dishes that are being forgotten. So even though Onji Om refreshes ancient recipes for the modern palate, the dishes won't taste the same to what I can get from the mass Korean eateries. So to dine at Onji Om, I felt like my horizon is being widened. I got to experience the Korean food culture a little deeper. So if you wish to better appreciate Korean food in this aspect, I will recommend Onji Om.